Electromagnetic spectrum is the entire span of electromagnetic radiation waves. In other words, light waves, ranging from the lowest energy E, lowest frequency F, longest wavelength lambda radio waves, to the highest energy, highest frequency, shortest wavelength gamma rays. So electromagnetic spectrum is a span of light waves. Here we are looking at a cartoon diagram generated by NASA that is showing us a span of electromagnetic or light waves. We have on one end, the left end, we've got our long waves, hence long wavelengths. And at the very other end, we've got these very, very short waves or short wavelengths. On the left end, we have our radio waves, which are our longest wavelength waves. They have the lowest energy and the lowest frequency. Then we pass through our microwave band into our infrared band, into our visible band, into our ultraviolet band, making our way into our X-ray band, and then finally making it into our gamma ray band. So since we are talking about a span, we must have two ends to the span. So on the left end, we absolutely must have the very lowest energy, lowest frequency, longest wavelength radio wave. And at the very other end, we must have the very shortest wavelength, highest energy, highest frequency gamma rays. And this electromagnetic spectrum spans in between in terms of wavelength, frequency, and an energy. Let's look at a video on the electromagnetic radiation developed by NASA. What is it? Electromagnetic radiation. These waves spread across a spectrum from very short gamma rays to X-rays, ultraviolet rays, visible light waves, even longer infrared waves, microwaves, to radio waves which can measure longer than a mountain range. This spectrum is the foundation of the information age and of our modern world. Your radio, remote control, text message, television, microwave oven, even a doctor's x-ray, all depend on waves within the electromagnetic spectrum.